Once again, you are welcome to the ultimate voyage through the fabric of human existence. Culture Scarps Trekking. Join us as we take you on an exciting journey through time, revealing the secrets of the past, present, and even the mysterious passageways of prehistoric times. As we go across the cosmos and explore the core of human history, culture, and existence, I'm ecstatic to be your guide. The hunt provided not only Jokowa, the Jao Congo, or Jao Sawa, of Lu migration to enter Nyanza. The Jao Kowango separated from the second phase of the Jok. Then to Madongo and Wanga before entering Saya. The other Lewis also referred to them as Jokasuba because they migrated together with the Durango people. The term Luos also referred to them as Jokasuba. And to this story so included other ethnic to this group of Abu Kind and to this group of Sadasa Sub. Group in generally, the Sakwa Luas are a broad clan comprising of the Kagwa, Kamwenya, Waganjo, Wami Kanyamwanda, Kalar Kamajeta, Kamiawa, Kamneria, Surwa, Kakmazia, Nazimwa. However, these people intermarry among themselves, a clear indication that the broad clan of Sakwa is made up of descendants who cannot trace their lineage by the Luo and adopted many aspects of the Ramoji Luo culture and language. They were assimilated to the Luo and often used Suba as an identifier to distinguish themselves as a separate group. The Suba or Durango people are not to be confused by the Homa Bay, Luo Abasuba, or Abasuba community, who are Bantu of different ethnic backgrounds that reside within the borders of Suba Sub County. Moreover, their language, Ikisuba, particularly is also distinct and very different from the Alusuba, so all the Durango people owe their Ogakatsukua, Sadler, whose lineage they were founded. The majority of the Durango clans migrated alongside the Joe. The fourth phase of the Luo migration into Nyanza. Clans and leadership structures played a pivotal role in Lu society with exogamous clans organized under a supreme chief known as Ruth. The Council of Elders provided guidance to the supreme chief, not only tested courage but also held cultural significance. They only took us. They only took Migration and dispersion triggered by internal conflicts among brothers Nikonjo Medilo marked a turning point as the Luo separated into distinct sub the southern Luo residing in Kenzania and Tanzania traced their roots to fishing, agriculture, and herding communities in western Kenya. The Jarango Luos, once a distinct Bantu ethnic group, merged with the Luo adoptee culture while maintaining Sisu traditions. Through interactions with Luhias, established itself in western Kenya before migrating to Siaya. The diversity within Luo sections, such as the Sarati Luos and Imbo Luos, highlights the complexity of their historical narrative. Kizuru Luos 
Originally a Bantu ethnic group, the Kizaru retained aspects of their distinct identity, despite linguistic similarities with the Guzi cultural assimilation. The Luo's declaration, separation solidified their position as a politico-cultural bloc in Kenya. The historical interplay between Luo migrants and indigenous populations, marked by both peaceful coexistence and eventual tensions, shape the ownership of vast territories around Lake Victoria. The Luo community's journey through history is marked by a tapestry woven with migration, culturally a test of courage, but also a profound cultural expression. Paradigy Landscape Lands guided by a supreme chief, Ruth, and adorned in distinctive regalia, played a crucial role in shaping the social fabric of Luo society. The dispersion of the Luo, triggered by internal conflicts among Naikango Demo and Hilo, unfolded a chapter of separation assimilation, as the various sub-groups charted their paths, intermingling with other communities, the southern Luo with roots in Huti, agriculture culture, the Durango Luos, once a distinct Bantu ethnic group, underwent a transformative assimilation into Luo culture. Their fusion with Ramaji traditions, while retaining elements of Bantu heritage, added layers to the multifaceted Lu story. The Joe Kowango sub group emerging from interactions with Luyas traversed a journey from Western ethnic group with linguistic similarities to the Guzi bull, found common ground with the Luthulo original and courage, elements of their identity, the Kizaru exemplify the intricate process of cultural assimilation within the Lu community. The Sarati Luos, connected to the Banyar section of the Abaluya community, and the Imbo Luos, originally a minority Bantu, Further enrich the diverse Luo narrative, the Luo's political unity and cultural bloc in Kenya. Their settlements are gradually established by both cooperation and tension. As the National Museums of Kenyan Invitation to Celebrate Luo Heritage, it beckons all to explore the intricate layers of Luo culture, a testament to Kenya's vibrant cultural mosaic. The Luo history, a testament to resilience and adaptation, unfolds in seven major sections, each with its unique origin story. The Ramoje Luis, in Yimbo before traversing South Nanza on a round and around migration, namely Joe. The Joe Kawango subgroup, distinct for its interaction with the Luyas, formed the Tariki ethnic group in the western region before entering Saya. Durango Luas, once a Bantu ethnic group, became intertwined with Lu culture, adopting aspects while maintaining some Bantu influences. The Kizaru Lu, through an intermarriage, adopting Dalu and Bikidolot, Hidolot, Sarati Lewis, related to the Banyar section of the Abaluya community.
arrived in North Mara and Nyanza ahead of other Luo clans. In Bo Luos, a minority Bantu speaking group initially inhabited Yimbo, later forming the Ajuanda with distinct groups. Lastly, the other Luos or Nyoko represent minority Luo adoptees by migrations, the Luo people's ability to simulations, assimilations, maintain unity despite diverse ancestral influences underscores their shared identity and cultural cohesion. In examining Luo locality, known as the Transiala dialect, and the standard Dalio dialect spoken by the rest of the Lu people, the convergence of Nilotic and Bantu populations within the Lu community as a single ethnic group, embracing diverse identity, as the Lu history of diversity, as a migration, cultural assimilation, and unity. It leaves an indelible mark on Kenya's socio-cultural landscape. The narrative reflects not only the past, but also the enduring spirit that binds the Lu people together, transcending time and contributing to the rich mosaic of Kenya's diverse heritage. Dating back centuries, the stories and traditions of the peoples of Kenya are some of the most fascinating in the world. They reached the countries to their own stories, the government, and are classified into three linguistic groups, the Bantu, the Bantu, the Nilotic, and the Cushitic speakers. The National Museums of Kenya holds objects telling the stories of the communities, which represent the country's ethnic diversity and vibrant cultures. Many of the cultural practices are still embraced today, but have been influenced by the changes in society. This exhibit celebrates the country. Dolio are the philatic like ledge group group. Descendants, the Luo community, are in particular known for their musical skills and instruments. Notable Lewis include the former Prime Minister of Kenya, Rila Odinga, the former President of the United States of America, Barack Obama, and the environmental scientist and Nobel Prize winner, Professor Sam Odingo. The Luo are a Nilotic-speaking group who are believed to have originated from Sudan. Other Luo groups are found in Uganda, Congo, Ethiopia, Pia, Pia, and the Environment is woven into the fabric of their daily lives. The rich natural resources around Lake Victoria shape their livelihoods, with fishing, hunting, and honey harvesting becoming integral practices. The Monno plant, used to create fishing traps, stands as a symbol of resourcefulness, embodying the Lu belief that the trap never goes without catching fish. Their agricultural adaptation influenced and its beyond sustenance, embracing this beyond sustenance. Like Hemco and Hempo, associated with Nyase, the Creator, reflect a profound reverence for the supernatural. The Legend of Luanda Major A warrior whose body was believed to be made of hard rock encapsulates the mystical dimensions woven into Luo narratives. 
The cultural heartbeat of the Luo resonates through their traditional music. A vibrant tapestry of drums, rattles, horns, and stringed instruments like the Nayati. These ecolocritizen, radiations, made of gourds, emanates a deep, resonant sound during significant ceremonies echoing the cultural significance embedded in every note. Ceremonial rites, such as the initiation involving the removal of six front teeth, are more than cultural markers. They embody a heritage of resilience and endurance. The Lewis historical journey, from Sudan to their settlements along the River Nile, reflects the ebb and flow of civilizations, Martikiti to Kartui to Kartuartishin. Encounter with dark-skinned people in South Sudan, leading to the name Jo, Oluo Ara, people who follow the river, reflects a pivotal chapter in their identity. The dispersion triggered by conflicts among brothers Nikango, Demo, and Gila delineates not just geographic separation but diverse cultural threads. As the Luo community navigates the currents of time, the echoes of their history reverberate in rituals and navigates the verge and the verge. The National Museums of Kenya's celebration of Luo heritage beckons all to immerse themselves in this cultural odyssey. The Luo community's journey through history is marked by a tapestry of Kenya's cultural mosaic. The Luo community's journey through history is marked by a tapestry woven with migration. Cultural assimilate a test of courage, but also a profound cultural expression, creating a unique identity. Chief, Ruth, Ruth, and adorned in distinctive regalia played a crucial role in shaping the social fabric of Lu society. The dispersion of the Lu, triggered by internal conflicts among Naikango, Demo, and Dilo, unfolded a chapter of separation and assimilation. The Lu narrative became a mosaic of traditions. The Southern Lu, with roots in fishing, agriculture, and herding communities, established a distinct identity. ethnic group underwent a transformative assimilation into Lu culture. Their fusion with Ramaji traditions while retaining elements of Bantu heritage added layers to the multifaceted Lu story. The Joe Kowango sub group emerging from interactions with Luyas traversed a journey from western Kenya to Saya, embodying the complex dynamics of Lu migration. The Kizarulu originally cultural exchange, despite Ruiti, exemplify the intricate process of cultural assimilation within the Luo community. The Sairati Luos and the Banuar section of the Abaluya community and the Imboluos, originally a minority Bantu, Further enrich the diverse Lu narrative, the Luo's political unity and cultural cohesion, despite historical encounters of Lake Victorian and tension, as a conquest, reformed the National Museums of Kenya extend an invitation to celebrate Lua heritage. 
It beckons all to explore the intricate layers of Luo culture, a testament to Kenya's vibrant cultural mosaic. The cultural practices of the Luo community, deeply rooted in tradition, have evolved over centuries, adapting to changes while preserving essential elements. The initiation rites by the removal of six symbolic significance, the Andeshuld, the Yisrael Maldops. Cobra bones for healing reveals a connection to the natural world, where the backbones of a cobra were fashioned into a chain for medicinal purposes. The Lua's relationship with nature extended to their fishing practices, as they crafted ingenious traps from the Modno plant, demonstrating a harmonious interaction with their environment. The fishing traps, described as those never going without catching fish, illustrate a deal in our series, What in a Customs, What, 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 Ultimate Voyage Through the Fabric of Human Existence. Join us as we take you on an exciting journey through time, revealing the secrets of the past, present, and even the mysterious passageways of prehistoric times as we go across the cosmos and explore the core of human history, culture, and existence. I'm ecstatic to be your guide. Faith.